this one's about retaining information. So I got a message and said, basically, how do you mentally retain information on moves you first learn? And so here's something to keep in mind at any level. Your game is, it's not about remembering everything. Okay. You're going to learn a lot of stuff over the years and you'll remember more and more as you train, but early on, in my opinion, the first stuff you're learning, you just want to hang on to whatever's working and essentially give yourself a little home base of techniques that you can rely upon. And as you get more and more comfortable with jiu-jitsu, you become to understand it better on a deep level. It becomes more easily to rapidly learn techniques. But in the beginning, don't really worry about not remembering everything. I will tell you that I was probably... And like this luckily was not something, this is something I learned from wrestling and wrestling. Like my coach was like, listen, guys, you got to be good with three moves in wrestling. You got to be good at a pinning combination, a takedown and a reversal or escape. That's it. You do those three things better than anything. You win matches, right? Because we had to take someone down and try to pin them or they would, we would be in the down position and we had to escape a reverse. That was it. That's how wrestling worked. And so when I got into jujitsu, I didn't have this, I've got to remember everything mindset that so many people do. Really, what you're doing, and this is true for this doesn't change. You're trying to scour through everything and find stuff that works for you that's usable to you. Even to this day, if I watch an instructional video, I don't watch everything and try to remember every detail. Yeah. I scour through it and I'm like, okay, I think I can do that because that works from a position I'm already good at, or it looks like that that could work for my body. I can see myself doing that. Let me go drill it or try that during rolling. And get an idea. But again, it's just like even like Hodger Gracie, one of the best jiu-jitsu practitioners of all time. You know, he said, you know, and he said this in a, in a talk. He said, listen, I, I, I've i mastered like five moves. And I've remember, I, I know all kinds of techniques, but I've like mastered five, you know, mm -hmm. like, or, you know, whatever, two handfuls, whatever it was. And so, you know, basically he could count on fingers how many techniques he's, he's mastered and everything else relative. He knew how to do it. And so you got to keep that in mind. You're never going to be good at everything. You, re you will remember more stuff from time to time. And and then it becomes almost like a rem like going back to remembering old stuff you forgot. Like like to this day, like if I go through and I'm preparing a, a class, a set of classes for some, some of the students, if it's a position that maybe I don't use all the time or as much as I used to, I'll go back and study instructionals and videos and everything else. Yeah. And I'll, be, I'll remember old techniques that I forgot. You know, you're not always going to have everything. You're not a computer. Um, so to speak, you don't, you can't just bring up everything at, at, at random at will. Sometimes it, uh, sometimes you forget it, but it doesn't matter because again, you're trying to focus on just retaining the, the most important stuff, which is the stuff you can use. And then over time, you'll find that you'll remember more and more stuff as jitsu seems to make more sense to you on a deep level where learn, like, for instance, I can, I can watch a technique in a video and watch it two or three times and I can go try it today in rolling. Whereas someone that's brand new. They're going to have to watch it and they're going to have to drill it a lot more mm -hmm. because they're, they don't have jujitsu is not, it's not programmed deep into their like nervous system yet. Um, but yeah, don't try to retain everything. Just try to retain what's working. And then again, you're going to forget stuff. That's okay. It's normal. Don't worry about it. it happens. Yeah, I think it's it, whatever it's it gets easier as you start to find like it's almost like you have like a tree, right? And then you have like these little branches and those all build off of your main trunk of your tree, so to speak. And that's kind of like because then that stuff you're already like you can oh, I can go this way from here. You're already in position. You're not creating anything new. And that's the easiest, uh, like you said, the easiest. And sometimes you just fall into like sometimes the technique just feels right for some mm -hmm. reason. You start yep. doing it. I was like, oh, this feels like natural, right? This feels like a natural movement or just kind of it just. It, it just fits and you just do it and you start hitting it and it works for some reason. So, uh, that sometimes happens with positions. Um, but yeah, like I think even when you're learning techniques, when I learn techniques, I try to find like one little, um, one little tidbit or one little positional idea or concept. And a lot of times when we start learning techniques, it's like, we're learning kind of, we already know so many concepts of jujitsu, like there, here's the purpose of this movement or this technique. And you can kind of see the similarities in, in other kind of techniques kind of parallels i think it makes it easier for to to understand and, and kind of get the idea behind them mm -hmm.